told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna Hi guys, welcome back to my channel In case you're new here, my name is Hunter and thank you for clicking on this video as you saw in the introduction you saw me boiling some water and that what I was boiling was the reason for this business idea this business idea is so so good and it gives you a lot of profit actually guys this business idea is ice making ice making is what okay for me according to what I remember before when we were still kids we used to buy those ice in school canteens for for our break for their lunch and sometimes when in the evening when we are going back at home some sort of mixture they mix some powdered stuff sometimes it's called jolly jazz and they put in some other stuff like essence the flavorings so yeah that we used to enjoy a lot of that ice and Currently, if you didn't know, that's a fun fact that the, that's the business that I started a year ago, guys, and it has really given me a lot of money. I'm not even kidding. I've, I've really made a lot of money. This ice making business doesn't need a lot of capital. You can even have 10,000 shillings to start up this business. All you need are the simple ingredients. You don't have to start from making big amount of ice you have to start with little i started this business because i was too bored i was at home bored i didn't have what to do um an accountant by professional so if you don't know i, I graduated in an accounting and finance degree so i have a degree in accounts accounting and finance so uh for some reason i left my eight to five job to stay at home with my kids because um right now a stay home mom so and that's what i decided to do because my kids are now grown up they don't need a lot of attention and i have someone who is taking care of them when i'm not around at home but yeah so when i left my eight to five job i started staying at home with my kids and i had also some other businesses with which my husband put up for me and these are real estates yeah and i also get a lot of money from it guys and shout out to you my husband if you're watching this thank you for putting up that business for me so yeah that business is also giving me some money and i really appreciate that but yeah so i of course that business is you wait for monthly payments as in you don't do physical I, let me call it physical activities like you don't move all the time like this other side business of ice making this real estate you just wait for your money at the end of the month and what you have to do is you you pay for only you go pay for bills and it's once in a while guys you get you get before making the ice i put up a shop a retail shop which has stuff that people need on a daily for example sugar rice beans i have that shop somewhere and that shop is actually making me busy not to sit at home a lot because before making that shop i used to sit at home too much and i wanted to add something also in that shop which can give me extra money so that's when i decided to make eyes guys I can't wait to show you guys what I do and how I uh, what I do to make the ice. So that ice, if you're having a retail shop, also that ice business can help you 
to pay rent it can help you to pay electricity it can help you maybe to feed the worker who is working in, in the shop if you have someone if you hired someone to work in in your shop that also ice money can also help you to pay the person who works in the shop also besides the ice business i put up i have what is it called i also sell water i actually sell water this kavira water you know you guys people in uganda you just boil the water and let it cool then after you um you put it in the in the caveras you tie them and you sell you you sell it chilled so i think i i have over talked i have over talked and i don't want to make this video so long so let me let us go and i show you how i make the eyes by the way guys what i forgot to tell you is this business doesn't need only shop or doesn't need even if you, doesn't need only the shop even if you don't have a shop you can basically do it at your home if in case you have a freezer a freezer you make the ice at home you have kids around your place you make ice then after kids can start buying the ice from your home from your doorstep they can come buy ice from your do doorstep if you're there and you stay home mom just start making that business even if you you're not a stay home mom and you are you you anyone anyone can do that business from home as long as you have a fridge a fridge at home which has a freezer you can make the ice and put it up in the freezer so that kids or even adults enjoy it of course they can come at your doorstep to buy the ice so let us go make the ice i'll show you everything every tip and every idea let's go so guys this is our milk i always get our milk from the farm we have a farm of milk so we get from our cows i bring it home and i boil it so right there is our water make sure you boil water don't give people don't make ice with unboiled water guys so right now these are our ingredients actually the essence we use it can be chocolate mango strawberry whatever you want to use then i also add some food coloring any color you feel like using can be orange it can be green it can be blue any color you really want to use any color you can think of any color which kids really like so yeah we also use sugar this is concentrated sugar this is not the normal sugar because if you can use the normal sugar if you want so and we have our polythene bags we use i like using the smaller version of them you can also use the bigger buveras but for my case i like using the small buveras because it really makes it cute and nice so i start by pouring in my milk in the bucket i use this measuring i don't know that tin i use it for measuring that tin consists of two liters of milk so for each liter of milk as you can see that tin is two liters but if i lay down and i play dead and i stay dead maybe you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head under my bed think you're something out of my nightmares standing right there but if i lay down and i play dead and four liters of water as you can see the way i'm doing that tin consists of two liters of two liters so i add four liters of water in the milk or it depends on the way you want to do it so right here i'm adding my colors the food colorings as you can see this was red but in the milk it turned out pink i also used the green and my daughter likes helping me as you can see in the video she likes doing work with me actually she likes mixing she likes you know she likes helping mommy and that's what daughters are made for you know <laughs> so right there she's mixing for me she told me even the color turned pink instead of red and that is pink is her favorite color so why not she likes helping me 
so yeah this was purple color no this was blue color yes and she also wanted to help me put in the colors and mixing as so so yeah the color turned out really beautiful as you can see guys i love it and kids really like taking colorful colors they i like the way when they come to my shop asking for the colors they feel like they want kids can come to the shop and say i want purple i want blue i want pink and it's really so cute and nice you know so this is me right here mixing the orange color on camera it looks yellow but it was orange so after that you have to add in the essence don't forget the essence because they really make the eyes smell nice so in the red color you can see i'm adding strawberry essence in the other green color i added a pineapple essence in the yellow color i'm adding in a mango essence and it really smells so so beautiful guys and i also had vanilla you can buy any essence you want there are many essence in the market there there are there's mango there's banana there's chocolate so right here i'm using a chocolate color as you can see and yeah they really give out the ice a nice aroma guys so this is me adding the sugar as you can see and this is concentrated sugar like i told you before the sugar is concentrated if you want you can use this normal sugar but as for me i use this sugar because it it's like it becomes more sweeter quickly than you use little of this sugar than using the hi guys today we are making ice mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> good okay hurry up we take a thumbnail so guys it's time for measuring the ice i like using this measuring cup this is 80 ml cup yeah i pour in only 80 ml of ice so as you can see it's very little but it's worth it because it has a lot of ingredients it has a lot of stuff you know a lot of nice things there so i like twisting my cavera and tying it well and nicely and this cavera one ice goes for 100 ugandan shillings kids love it very much it is so small but it's worth it they always come back to get more so as you can see i'm also tying more more ice until i finish all the colors and yeah i'll show you guys when i finish doing everything tying out my eyes tying different colors and you'll see the final results oh my god the colors looked really so beautiful as you can see here my hands even turned you see i got some color on my hands my daughter also wanted to be with some colors but of course she didn't have any and she wanted to be like me so yeah this is me tying more eyes and i'll see you when i finish tying all the colors guys so this is beautiful this is the final look you can see the purples the pinks the yellow the green the eyes really look so beautiful i don't know how my why my video turned out like this how i captured it i don't know why it is half of the screen but it's okay regardless we move but yeah that is it how my eyes turned out and it really looks so so beautiful and i can't wait to take it to the shop for my customer so guys that is it for today's video you've seen how i've made ice trust me it really gives me some money some good money and i really appreciate that i appreciate myself i made little quantity because i was making a video but as usual i make bigger i make bigger quantities of ice it's always big i make like six seven buckets and i don't always make it alone currently munching on these nuts walnuts uh, cashews and some I don't know what the rest is called Al almonds and some almonds so yeah it's really good because i'm hungry i've been shooting for i think half a day if you don't have milk i use my milk on mine 
if you don't have this you milk ugandans know this this is called uh, pop drink you can mix it with water to spice it up you can add some essence the flavoring the flavorings you saw they really work they really give the ice a good smell and a good taste my ice is already in the freezer only i didn't show you that part of me putting the ice in the freezer but yeah that is how i make my money by the way i i don't make the ice alone i always put up people i always tell people my workers some of them to sit we sit like four three to four people we sit and make the ice and that's why i make good um larger quantities and I'll sh i think i'll show you if the ice is ready tomorrow because it takes a full night to 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 solidify so after tomorrow i'll take i'll come with you to i'll take you guys with me to my shop and show you how the customers buy it how the kids really love it and here i think allow me in this video here Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss any new uploads every week. Don't forget to always have the spirit of gratitude and be thankful to go to something you are grateful for and always spread love, not hate. Until next time, bye guys.